Most people in life are mature enough to know what the rules of the world are today. Thou shall not steal is a fundamental number one rule across the entire world. Almost all cultures, almost all societies, almost all nations have that rule. Thou shall not take from someone else's or thy neighbor's house. It's a standard rule in the Ten Commandments. It's a standard rule in our nation. It's a standard rule as a part of the United Nations Declarations of Human Rights. And it's a standard rule that one of your 400 fucking countries have signed into today. Not at all, but years ago, and they all accepted these rules. The point is that what your personhood is, is yours. What your paperwork is, is yours. What your property is, is yours. And no one has a right to commandeer it or blackmail you with it or do anything like that to you. And yet, in the middle of the night, we have little pilferers, little children of parents, possibly, or immature people who think they have the right to steal in the night. Since I've stayed in this town looking for new work, looking for new opportunities, looking for new friends, looking for a new wife, and looking for my life, I've had a lot of things stolen from my property bags. So what we already have is a generation coming into the community here who think that they are above the law. They think they don't have to do things right at all. They think they have the right to steal. They've already stolen my advertising signs that said, Dragon Priest, Light Provision. It was a hand-done sign that I created myself. Who stole that sign? Was that to teach me some sort of lesson? Was that to have a trophy for them because of what they've done to me? What's the point of their life? You see, they can do that, but God will punish them because that sign was made for my faith, my work, my business, my film, my certificates of interest, not at all, my life. When you steal from another person's life, you will lose your life. You may not lose it immediately to jail, but you will lose your life to your sin. God above all has made this rule, do not steal from thy house. What that means is my house. You see, it's God who provisions for us. It's God who provides for us. It says it in every book around the world that God is the provider for us. This concept of COVID came from God because he put it into someone. They violated the laws on someone. The people who did that created this problem. People who sin against other people create the illnesses of the world. People who lie, steal, and cheat other people create problems for people of the world. And those things are the sins of the world. Theft is a gateway sin to all other sins. And we have to be careful of that because we do experience the rebuke of the Lord. We do experience the lessons from God when we do something that violates His laws. It doesn't matter what your faith is, but you're smart enough to know that we do not steal from others. And if you've stolen, it shows you're an immature child of age three that can't keep your hands to yourself.